Hi, it's Joe Gore for PremierGuitar.com from Musikmesse 2014 in Frankfurt. And I'm here with Thomas Blug of Blug Guitar. Yeah, that's my new own brand, okay? I've been in the industry for quite a while, but I decided, like being in the middle of my life, I got to do my own shit. No compromise the way I want it. Now, uh, we're looking at a very, very large guitar <laughs> amplifier. Well, and it only weighs 1.2 kilograms. Well, my, my idea behind this is to get the, you know, a, a boutique he amp head, like a 100 watt Bogner or using Ketna or Marshall into your gig bag. So it's the tenth of the weight and the tenth of the size of the classic boutique amps. Yes, we're not we're not looking at a multi-effect pedal. We're not looking at a switch for some other amp. This is the head. Yeah, this is fully analog. Besides, I have to say, my little reverb chip. Okay, only the reverb chip is a is a chip that is a the digital reverb, but it sounds like a spring. It's not a bad fake spring. Yeah, but um, this amp has four different channels. So it has a clean channel, it has a vintage channel, like a GTM 45, an amplifier that I love a lot. And then uh, it has a, a classic channel, which is basically a British sounding channel. And it has a modern channel that is super flexible from uh, a Gary Moore tone up to death metal, whatever, uh, really dark shit. And you can really fine tune each of these channels with my custom controls on the side of the unit. Yeah, can we, can we take a look at the side of the pedal where there's yeah. the uh, micro controls? I'll show you here on this. So, What are some of the things that these address? Yeah, uh, first maybe the foot switches. This foot switch is to switch from clean to one of the overdrive channels. And uh, this is the boost switch and this is the reverb switch, so easy. Um, so if I go for the boost, for instance, I have a control. This is a two-stage boost. It's a tube emulation, but it's one of... It's a new design. This this has 30 years of my experience and one of the best Russian engineers I've ever met <laughs> inside. And we, we came up with a tube sounding cell that is true. It, it's solid state, but it, it is something that has never been on the market before. And the thing is, this boost can be adjusted here, switched on here. So here we have uh, the custom control, tone control for the modern. On the one side, I get the big fat sounds. On the other, uh, on the other uh, direction, I have uh, the sound for the metal guys. So these are typically two very different worlds. And the the one kind of player hates the other one. But I found out technically the foundation is, is starting from the same kind of distortion but it's it's you, you, you can actually tune it to both different worlds and uh, I want to make this amplifier a little bit more flexible because I think the format is something people really need if you have flying gigs if I mean I, I'm, a, I'm a really I'm a playing musician I'm I do the shop I have to lug around my gear all the time I know how heavy tube amps are and I wanted to have something new that pleases me and others so these are the, uh, the, the, the tone and volume controls for the individual uh, overdrive channels. There is a effects loop switch which goes from serial to parallel. There's a built-in noise gate that measures input and output stages, soft mode off and metal for our metal or, friends. Or heavier, heavier gating. We can yeah, I'm, 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 a, I'm, I'm a strat cat. I love single coils. But hey, it's all great. We all do, do our thing. Here you can see guitar input, effects loop, recording out and headphones. It will automatically switch uh, um, to different modes and it, it measures what, what you put in there, if it's a mixing console or a headphone. It measures or, or is it simple, it, or it, on the basis of whether it's a mono or a stereo jack? No, or, no, no, it okay. measures. Wow. It, it's not a jack. It's not about a jack. It is it, what, what you, it's about the impedance you put on there. This, I'm talking about impedance, these are the two speaker outs. So this, this little box delivers 100 watt. 100 watt and uh, to an 8 ohm speaker or 16 ohm speaker. Um, this is for an external foot switch. If you like to put this on a combo with a handle, so this can put this on the handle, have an external foot switch, use it like an amp head. Um, and also, this is an intelligent socket. I can have uh, this connected to my 
remote pedal called the Remote One. We have direct access to all of the functions of the amp. There's a clean channel, vintage, classic, modern, there's a boost, reverb, effects loop, master volume and a power soak. So this is extra functionality and about the master volume, second master volume, dial in, switch on, off and power soak actually goes from 100 watts down to 7 watts. This is the stage mode, middle, and then it goes from 2 watts to 150 milliwatts, which is 0 0.5, uh, sorry, 0 0.15 watts for your home use. So you, I can play the clean channel all the way up and use the power soak, so I have, I can be Jimi Hendrix in the bedroom. In, in my living room or wherever, at home. Even if you have neighbors, you still have friends with this power soak. And uh, once you have dialed into your sound here, you can also store this as a preset. So I got nine presets here, and actually I have four banks. So I got, you know, I'm, I'm not a MIDI stepper. If you are a really MIDI nut, you, sh you can use your own pedal and you, you use my uh, MIDI adapter. But one more word about this here. See the slot here? There's an extension optional for a looper kit. I call this looper kit, which has four true bypass loops with relays. So I got this on my pedal board so I can switch in and out all my beloved old analog effects boards, you know, electro harmonics, small stone and noisy shit that I love and have to, you know, switch in and off with my different sounds here. And you have a blue guitar cabinet too. And in actually the logo lights up and there's no it's not connected to any of the mains. It comes straight from the amplifier using a mono cable that's new it's magic <laughs> anyway in this cabinet this cabinet at the moment is it's just a study but uh, I'm, I will do some cabinets I mean the company just started and uh, I, I, I thought of something very small I wanted to have the smallest 12 inch cabinet that sounds big because I come from the back old, I'm from the, the good old days of 4 by 12 cabinets but today I want a sound without the weight and without anything else. And listen to this. So clean. And it cleans up so this. Tell us about the uh, micro-format Russian tube that you're using. Well, see, we, we experimented about uh, several different uh, tube, kinds of tubes. And we needed a tube that is uh, very reliable. I mean, if you build a product like this, I don't want to have the tubes changed. And the tubes is actually soldered to the PCB. So I had to find tubes that are first small and secondly, super reliable. So this tube has been on the space program of the Russians. I'm not telling you the name, I only tell you it's military quality and I have a really big trouble to get them out of Russia at the moment because of the politics uh, things that are going on. So my forwarder we have to find the right papers to get this out. I mean this is we don't know this is nothing military today you know it's just a radio tube. But anyway, it has a military stamp on it, and uh, it sounds good, and it's uh, small, and it's the most reliable tube that I've found. And what roles is it fulfilling in the circuit? Is it, is it a, in the power section, or what, yeah. what's what? It is actually in the power section, because I found out uh, with our new analog preamp design, which you can hear is super tube-like, uh, I can... I, I don't need tubes because it's much easier, it's less noise, it's less mic microphonics and anything. But in our new uh, power amp design, which is something groundbreaking new, it's not a class D, it's not a whatever, it's, it's something new. The, the tube 
works in combination. And uh, it has also the built-in power soak there, which is really in the power amp stage. It's not uh, some diets doing some clipping like anything. No, it's the real deal. It is the it, we recreate the behavior of the good old whatever Marshalls, Fenders, blah blah blah. Because I love this, and uh, yeah, just just use some other technical means and put it in there. Well, where can people go to find out more information about this cunning small amp? Right. On my website, of course, and it's blueguitar.com. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Hey, my nice, pleasure. Nice playing, man. Oh, thanks. And thank you for watching premierguitar.com.